Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see this uh, demo BigQuery data canvas. Okay, so BigQuery data canvas, we can discover, transform, query and visualize data using a natural language forward approach. We can analyze with data canvas BigQuery. Okay, so BigQuery data canvas, basically it's a completely reimagined and a natural language based visual experience to explore, curate and uh, query, visualize the data. We can explore, curate, query and finally visualize the data which it brings multiple tools into unified interface. That means we can easily focus on our analysis instead of on the tools. Next, we are going to see the BigQuery data canvas, find data. So find data, it's like a natural language and keyword based data asset search with data, data plex. Then next is generate SQL. It analyze faster by churning natural language into SQL code. And finally create insights. Easily create charts and data stories using artificial intelligence. These three only we can do. Uh, in BigQuery data canvas. Find data and generate SQL and finally create insights. So now we are going to see the demo BigQuery data canvas. So this is a GCP uh, console, GCP BigQuery. Let me open the GCP BigQuery. So here you can see uh, create a data canvas for me friends, but you don't have this option. I have uh, sent an email to that uh, particular group. So they have uh, given the access. So if you don't have this uh, create a data canvas option in your uh, GCP BigQuery console, then you have to contact uh, this team, okay? So they will uh, give them access to you. So you have to send an email to them uh, stating that uh, you don't have access for the data canvas. Then they will give the access. So just uh, this is the documentation. So you can see I have, uh, uh, you have to scroll down a little bit yeah here only we can see the contact uh, data canvas uh, hyphen uh, we feedback okay so now we are going to uh, do this uh, demo so before that we need uh, some data set right so for that i open some i have opened the chat gpt i i have given the input like uh, employee data sample 20 rows but i have given wrongly so that's what it, it can't provide like that it has uh, given then i give five columns then it came the data now so i have copy pasted this data into the excel sheet uh, google uh, sheet see a uh, google spreadsheet then this is the column okay so this is the data so i am going to download into the csv comma separated values uh, this employee data employee ID, first name last name department salary uh, there are 20 rows so it has been downloaded into the csv now now what I'm going to do means I'll already have created this test data set. So inside the test data set, we need to create one table. So now I'm going to create one table. Just click create table. So if you don't have already uh, how to create a data set, you can watch my previous video friends. So now I'm going to create a table. So just click create table from here. We can click upload. So select file. So we need to uh, select our existing existing file here. So just click browse and uh, select our existing csv file just click open and the file format is csv it's fine now uh, then project you can verify it project data set and table you have to give the table name so i'm giving us employee data here and uh, schema i'm clicking as auto direct then only uh, the header it will come i'm creating the table right now okay fine so now the employee data has been created it now so you can see it friends employee data came now so just click preview now so you can see employee id first name last name department it came right salary also so there are 20 rows it came right now now next thing is we need to uh, click this uh, uh, query here just click this query drop down here you can see friends in data canvas so if you don't have access you have to follow it friends i uh, already told it right so now you can see uh, the page it will be open like that only like a uh, uh, some dashboard like that so here you can see friends 20 rows it is coming and uh, the header also it came right so now you can click this query okay now you can uh, uh, enter the 
commands friends enter the uh, enter your questions so for example display employee that's it employee id okay it's like a chat gpt only we, we will be giving some instruction right we will ask some questions chat gpt will give the answer so it's the same concept here also so just click that uh, send input now it will show our query uh, the big query right so no need to worry about it will automatically generate the sql query that's what the second step we are doing it now we can click the run friends now we can see the results here query results so employee id it came right now so here just click and track technique just we are giving the input instructions uh, the sql it is generating for us and the query results also it is generating then next step is we can visualize the data before that we can check some other columns also whether it is working properly or not friends then uh, finally we can visualize the data so now i am going to uh, check some other thing let's uh, uh, do some other thing friends so combine first name and last name now we are going to combine the first name and last name so first name this and last name okay now uh, first name yeah so now i am going to click this and the input now we can see friends whether uh, it is combining or not concordinate so it, it is using the concordinate uh, function bigquery first name last name it is coming then concordinate so it's very simple friends if you are learning the sql bigquery uh, you can uh, learn learn from like this right so run click run and you can see friends first name it came last name it came full name it came so first name uh, and last name it combined okay now we can we can visualize also the data okay so now uh, we we are not going to do it right now visualize the data uh, let's check some other columns also friends the testing purpose we can do so you can also try from your end now instead of uh, clicking i mean i'm replacing it with display salary just i'm going to click this so now uh, the salary it will be displayed the column the salary it will come so you can run the query you can also check it friends now you can see salary column it came the 20 uh, number of rows it came column one salary it came right now so now uh, next going to do okay now i am what i am going to do means i am going to uh, I am going to find the department that is a unique department so i need a unique department there are marketing engineering and some other department right in our uh, data so i need a unique department i need to display the unique department so you can see friends uh, so it came the query now it has generated the query now i have clicked run now so you can see sales finance marketing and engineering now i can visualize the data final steps we came now so click bar chart we can see it friends now yeah the uh, data uh, i mean it's like a dashboard it came the bar chart of departments it came the engineering and finance marketing and sales department it came so finally we can clear canvas also once done so these are the recently used tables i have done employee data test table uh, these are the things which i have used it friends for this uh, uh, bigquery data canvas so it was powered by gemini it's a, a tool uh, yesterday only it came i guess uh, newly uh, the service came to the uh, came friends you can also try it from your end this is a new feature it came new feature it came into the gcp bigquery thanks a lot friends uh, have a great day if you are not subscribed my youtube channel you can subscribe my youtube channel so that it will motivate me to upload more videos about the gcp services thank you so much bye bye